Hello everyone, Megman24 here, back with some more videos, and I'm here with a new game, uh, this game is called Dungeon Defenders, now this game is not new by any means, but it is kind of new to me, I found this game on Steam, it's uh, what it is, it's basically a tower defense strategy type game, and it's it's really fun for, for the people who like the strategy and the tower defense, like I just said, it's, it's going to be the perfect game for you, it's a lot of fun to play, it's super addicting and uh, basically I'm just going to kind of make like a let's play and pretty much teach you if you want to end up buying the game. Um, pretty much going to do a step by step tutorial on how to be good. Now I'm not the best at the game, I have not even beaten the game, but I do think I have some quite a few tips for you guys to help do good in this game if you do have it or if you do not have the game. So first of all, this is the little startup menu you have. You're going to start off, you're not going to have all these maps, you're going to go to campaign and you're going to start off on the deeper well. Now most of you are going to start off on medium, but I'm just going to go with hard just to make it a little <coughs> more fun for me. Now then you just want to hit go once you have set up your options. Now if you're just going to do campaign and you want to go through all these maps, all these levels, don't use any of these. Survival modes basically for after you've leveled up and maybe you just want to level your character up a little bit more before you're going into a deeper level. Alright, so that's all that. So I'm just going to close it out and now just like a little thing here. This is the Defender's Forge. This is where you can get weapons and stuff. You can get item box. Uh, the enemies you fight will drop the items. And the thumbs up stand for something that is better than what you do have on right now. And then the thumbs down means it's not as good as what you have on right now. Which probably means I should sell these, but I'm, I'm gonna do that at a different time. But, <coughs> also there are four main characters in this in this uh, game. And they are... Whoops. Four characters are a knight, a squire in this case, a mage, and a huntress, and then the last one is a <coughs> excuse me, a monk. Now all three of these have different skills. My main character I made was a huntress. I now have level 70. Um, the huntress's main skill is um, basically she's more of the more um, melee, shooting them, shooting, shoot them up type of player uh, you want to be sure to upgrade her if you're going to use her upgrade her um make her player not her towers now there's two things to upgrade when you go to upgrade so i'm going to go to hero info here now you can see that up here i have hero abilities and defenses now the abilities you don't really need to worry about until you're a higher level but there's the two things hero which is all these which is health base damage speed and casting rate. And on defenses here we have the uh, well for the huntress this is that nation count but this is the health for the cat for the towers. This is the base damage for the towers. This is the radius of the towers on how far out they were attack. And this is well this is the trap reset speed but this is now uh, this is for any other thing how fast they will shoot. Now the huntress is definitely more of a hero. You want to upgrade the hero attributes, as you can see. I have mine upgraded. I have upgraded these a little bit, but that was when I had some spare stuff. And I didn't want to upgrade my hero anymore. <coughs> now on to the squire. The squire is definitely more of a tower, of a tower player. As you can see here, I have not put much into my hero. Most of my points are into my towers. Now I'm only level 39 on this, but you can see that my towers are upgraded. The reason why the squire is better for towers is because the towers are much more effective. We have a blockade here, a spike blockade, which does do damage. We have a bouncer blockade, which does this is really good for corners. We have the harpoon, which is probably my favorite defense he has. And then we have the bowling ball turret which will roll bowling balls onto the enemies and then we have the slice and dice which is by far the best but maybe not the most um, healthy one it, it will die the fastest so those are the ones for the squire now, I do recommend you do make more than one hero and use them for different things um, the monk I will say now is more of an aura and it will slow down enemies help your health um, I'm not sure what the monk is I've never tried using the monk. not really my favorite character now last is the mage, and the mage is good for two, it can really be your your melee or your t 
towers. I chose to make mine towers just because I really don't like using the mage as a melee. Because you don't, there's not really, like, there's good staff, but they're hard to come by. So I decided to use this. Now the mage has mostly shooting defenses that shoot magic. This is just a magic shooter thing, just shoots a thing of magic. That's what the description actually says. This also has a blockade. It has a fireball turret, which shoots fireballs, of course. It has an electric thing, which has a bigger radius, but like will electrocute any enemies within sight. And then it has the death barrier, the deadly strike tower. Now, they're all good, but I normally don't use them because I have the squire, and the squire is definitely better. But the huntress, I'm going to use right now. And, I'm, and now I'm going to go into the actual game. So, like I said, I've already set all this up. And now we're going to start at level 1 on the deeper well. I'm going to have mine on hard. I recommend you guys start off on medium because if you do easy, it's just not going to be very much fun. So, um, so let's just go and let's we'll see what the best strategy is to do when you first start off. Skip through this. If you want to watch that, you can. Alright, so here we are. Um, I'm going to switch to my squire. I actually don't need very many uh, towers for this level because there's only five waves and um, <clears throat> there's like six enemies on the first wave so it's gonna be very low very easy to beat this first thing when you're a high level like me when you're a lower level it might be kind of challenging just set up some towers you'll be fine but I'm just gonna show you the basics as if I, as if I was a low level so these chests here are gonna give you mana and mana is what you need to su summon towers or heal yourself or do any special attacks now you can see I'm using my squire and I'm gonna be sh setting up. Now you can set up down by where th these doors here are where the enemies will come out. There's two up there and three down here. Now when you do get at a high level the waves are gonna get harder. You're gonna wanna end up putting your towers closer to the Eternia Crystal which in all in all is what you're trying to protect from these mobs. Now you can place them down at the in front of the doors but the doors have a little cover thing here this blue radius which they will tell you in the tutorial if you don't want to watch if you don't want to play through the tutorial on the game you can just watch these videos and it'll help you out even more because I'm going in more depth now they, they cannot be harmed within the circle the only ones that can be harmed are the archers because they can actually shoot out everything else has to actually come out to uh, be killed. The archers are this bottom one right here with one next to it. Those are goblins and they actually, they actually have to let them come out. So you can see I've set up these two harpoons. Those should do it even if they do get passing but there's only six so they won't on this first round. I usually go through these five rounds pretty quickly but I'm just going to show you if I was a low level what I would be doing. So you can if you're on PC like I am you can hit G to ready up but normally you'd have to come to this attorney crystal and hit Hit a, hit a button to activate the game. Now see they're coming out and I'm just gonna you know kill them. Now it's definitely gonna take you more shots. It's making it's doing me a one shot right now just because I'm a high level and I have a very good um, weapon here. And you can tell that this player is much faster. The squire is definitely the slowest and even if you do upgrade the speed it's not gonna be very fast. Alright so uh, you can see I got wave complete. I'm picking up all this mana and I'll, when I first started playing I wanted to not pick it up so I could pick it up with my squire to do my towers but you really don't have to because before, when you come into this defender's forge you can hit E to activate it and then when you go to hero info you can go to drop mana drop all and then drop and then it'll drop all the mana you have and then you can just swap whoops you can just swap to your squire and pick all that mana up now for me, I don't really need to bring up any defenses, but if I were a level 1, this is what I would be doing. I'd be putting, hmm, let's see, I only, I don't have a lot, but I would be putting this here. If, this is if I were level 1. I don't, I do not do this now, but this is just, like I've said, if you are level 1 playing this game, this is what you're going to want to do. So you can see that more enemies are coming now. You can up in the top left hand corner you can see next enemies and that's how many enemies are coming in the round. So this is what if I were a level one, this is what I'd be doing. I'd be putting the two bouncers here, and that should be okay for this low of the thing. And if you're using um easy, then it should be even easier. Also one thing I want to note is up in the top right hand corner you see defense units. That is how many like thing defensive things you can use. Now each defense, each like um 
I don't know, object, defense, like the harpoon and the bouncer, is worth different amount of units. This, I'm not, I think this is worth like, like three or four, and this is worth about one or two. So the, the better the defense, the more defense units you're going to use. So you can either, you can either choose, you can have more little defenses or you can have less big defenses. I mean, it's all about your personal preference. So I'm just going to go ahead and start the round here. And, um... So there's two phases. You can actually set the phase so it will be time, but I mean, there's really no point to that unless you want to challenge, um, which I do do sometimes. But for now, I'm just having it off. Now you see this little guy floating around me. This is a little minion you can have. If you don't, I think you will get these if you buy this game now. This is just a pyro from Team Fortress, but there's a bunch in the game that you can pick up and buy from the merchant in the shop at the beginning of the game. So you can see, I, pretty, I go through that wave pretty quickly, but you guys aren't going to be doing it that easily. Uh, I do recommend, though, that you do not start off using the Huntress. I recommend you start off either using the Mage or the Squire, just because their weapons are a little better at the beginning than the Huntress. And then once you get those up and you can get through rounds, switch to your Huntress and then you just level her up as the rounds are going, but make all your towers and stuff with the Squires. Um, so you can see here, I don't really need to put anything else down, but if you guys are, oh, like, lower levels, by, by now you've probably leveled up, but, <coughs> um, you can see that you can, you can place even more down if you want to. I mean, it's still not going to be that hard for me personally, but if you want to place more down, go right ahead. I'm not going to, just for the sake of time, but, um, I was going to do this by me starting level 1, but I didn't really think that would be fun. I wanted I wanted to be a, this be a fun series and uh, I think by me starting over at level 1 it would have just been dragging on for me trying to level a player back up uh, because I've done it a bunch of times. 3 to be exact and I leveled this one up to 70. So I don't feel like building up another character. But you can get the gist and in the next video we'll be doing the next map. I'll just do one map at a time. This video is going to be a little longer than regular because I did the little stuff at the beginning, but in the next video we'll be doing the next, um, the next map, or the next, yeah, next map. Alright, so that's complete, uh, there's, as you can see, enemies are starting to come out of here now, and this is the next enemy, um, this is the little, it's a bigger ogre type looking thing, it's still not that hard, but when you are a low level, it's gonna be hard to beat, and you're gonna wanna put something up through here. You can put it closer back to the, to the thing, to the, uh, Eternia Crystal if you want to, but I, you, it's not, you know, recommended. But I just prefer to, and you can see that I, I pretty much wipe it out very quickly. But it should be all right now. Maybe I, I might have been a good idea to place some more down, but I think I'll be all right. This guy, I'm not sure what he's doing. <clears throat> Another thing I want to note is. Uh, at the top right, you can see how many enemies I have killed and how many are left. So, C4, yeah, 45, and there's five enemies left. This kind of thing you've probably picked up on by now. I just thought I'd point that out. Uh, another thing is the uh, little thing down at the left-hand corner. The red part is my health, and the blue part is my mana count. Now, as you level up, your mana, your mana capacity, like how much you can hold will go up, and your health capacity will go up. Now, your health will go up like by itself anyway but if you do put more into your hero's health it will go up even higher I do recommend you put some into health you do like dying in this game is it's easy if you're doing a hard part or if you're level one doing this stuff but when you're my level now it's not really a big deal I don't think I've taken one thing of damage so uh, just to point that out um, I'm actually going to put down some stuff my, my this person is not tower heavy but for this sake, I'm just going to lay them down. So you can see the kind of trap she sets, like a hunter, I guess you could say. I mean, her, thing, her name is the Huntress. Um, now, if you are picking the Huntress, you, you're going to want to get a good shooting thing. I mean, it's going to come over time. But you, the, I recommend the fully automatic ones. Now, like, this thing is, like, rapid fire. But I have, like, shotguns and stuff that say they're better than this. But I don't really prefer having a single shot, like shotgun that shoots slowly, because I'll be yeah, it's gonna be more damage per hit. But this is putting out more hits at a certain, in like per second, so it's doing better. That's just my personal recommendation if you're gonna use the hunters. The squire, it's basically all like best sword you can get. Like usually, if it's better, it's better. Same with the mage. Um, 
I do prefer the ones like there are some things that will have higher damage, but the little like orbs that the it shoots out are very slow and it takes a very long time to get to the uh, enemies. So um, that is going to be all for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, in the next video, we'll be moving on to the next level. Now, just a little thing to note: after the after, after you have beaten all the levels, just go around and pick up all the mana because it's just going to put more in your bank, which is going to help you buy stuff in the future. Now you can see I have about three million because someone gave me a sword in a public match, which was worth about like two million dollars, two million mana, not dollars, excuse me. Uh, but so that's why I have so much. It does. It takes time to get that high. Um, but I mean, you know. So I hope you all have enjoyed. If you want to keep watching, and I do recommend you do this and play at the same time. Just watch the video and pause, and you know, do what I'm doing. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.